Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, let's find the LCM, or lowest common multiple, and the GCF of 20, 30, and 15. And I like to use a factor tree, so I'm going to get started. 2 times 10 equals 20, circle the 2 because it is prime, and then uh, 2 times 5 is 10. And then I'm going to go 30, 2 times 15, circle the 2, and 3 times 5. And I'm going quickly through this, and then 3 and 5. Now, I have found that what helps a lot is to go ahead and make a chart and like this. And I'm going to put the prime factors for each number. I'm going to write 2, 2, and 5. And now for 30, I'm going to go 2. I don't have another 2, but I have a 5. I'm going to write the 5 there and the 3 here. This will make sense in just a minute. And for 15, I'm going to go 3 and 5. Now, for the LCM, all you do is basically multiply these numbers together, but use this rule. If you have 2 or 3 in the same column, in other words, in the same numbers, then only use one number. So I'm going to bring down only 1, 2. I'm going to bring down 1, 2, 1, 5, and 1, 3. Then all you do is multiply this together. 2 times 2 is 4 then 20, then th 20 times 3 is 60. So the LCM for 20, 30, and 15 is 60. Now let's work on the GCF. Now for the GCF, for greatest common factor, what you do is look for numbers that are in, prime numbers that are in all three. In this case, notice that the 5 is represented in all three numbers, so the GCF is 5. So the GCF is 5 and the LCM equals 60. I hope that helps in finding the LCM and GCF of 20, 30, and 15. Thanks for watching and Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.